and Sales Babble is sponsored by the Science of Scaling podcast, helping businesses scale revenue. Sales Babble is sponsored by Pearl Diver, turning website visits into leads. This is the Sales Babble podcast, episode 494, How to Learn, Unlearn, and Relearn Sales. This week, I've been listening to the Science of Scaling podcast hosted by Mark Roberge. Mark is the best-selling author of the Sales Acceleration Formula and a senior lecturer at Harvard Business School. Well, each week, he interviews some of the most successful sales leaders in tech, people like Mike Weir and Kyle Parrish, VP of Sales at Figma. As you folks know, my entire career has been in the tech and startup space, and as VP of sales, I know the importance of having a close relationship with marketing, development, and support. That's why the message Kyle Perry shared on the Science of Scaling podcast really resounds with me. Kyle's insights on focusing on the overall customer experience is spot on. This podcast provides actionable advice any business looking to scale for growth will value. Check it out. Search for The Science of Scaling in your favorite podcast app. That's The Science of Scaling podcast. And you can also find links in the show notes. These days, everyone shops online before reaching out to a company's sales team. I know I do. Oftentimes, I may be visiting their website and I see what I want, but I don't sign up. Instead, I say to myself, I'll come back to it later today. But I don't. And I'm not the only one like this. In fact, that's what your prospective customers are doing every day at your website. They're hot prospects, but you don't know who they are. This is where our sponsor Pearl Diver comes in. Pearl Diver makes visible these invisible visitors. Using big data technology, Pearl Diver gives you the name, email, phone number, and even the physical address of these hot prospects. With this demographic data, you can target your ideal clients with an email marketing campaign or go old school with a cold outreach campaign. In either case, you're talking to warm leads who took action to visit your website. You can't get a hotter lead than this. Go to pearldiver.io to view the software, download sample data, and book a demo. Again, that's pearldiver.io. C. Who's behind the clicks? Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, Sales Babblers. This is Pat Helmers. And you know how some people just don't listen? They complain about their situation, yet they're never open to alternatives. It's a case where confidence and cockiness become handcuffs. It's all too common in sales. It's a paradox. But sometimes the best way to learn something is to first unlearn what you already know. To relearn is to keep growing. And that's the topic for today. But before we do that, make sure and subscribe to the podcast on whatever app that you're listening to. That way, you will never miss an episode. And so, with no further ado, let's get to it. And now for today's chapter, The Overflowing Cup. Keep filling your bowl and it will spill over. Keep sharpening your pitch and it will be blunt. Keep hoarding commissions and you will be robbed. Keep seeking approval, and you will become their prisoner. Do your job and move on. Anything else attracts suffering. And now today's story, When the Cup is Full. Many of Chris's deals were in trouble. Chris was looking for advice, and Pat offered to help by inviting Chris for coffee. Chris was thankful, and at the meeting, immediately started explaining the complex details of each deal. 
Pat started pouring coffee into Chris's cup. When it was full, Pat kept pouring. Astonished, Chris exclaimed, Pat, the cup is full. No more will go in. Pat responded, Like this cup, you are full of your own opinions and solutions. How can I show you the way, unless you first empty your cup? Before you can begin something new, you have to end what used to be and unlearn the old way. As Mark Twain said, it ain't what you know that gets you into trouble. It's what you know for sure that just ain't so. Letting go is hard. Long-held beliefs are tenacious and they can be deadly. We live in tumultuous times. Changes in technology and culture create great uncertainty. As sales professionals, it's our responsibility to be skeptical of our assumptions and to make adjustments as needed. As Lao Tzu said, to attain knowledge, add things every day. To attain wisdom, remove things every day. To download a copy of this week's chapter, you can find it in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. And while you're there, you can also find links to our sponsors, like the Science of Scaling podcast, helping businesses scale revenue. And our sponsor, Pearl Diver, turning website visits into leads. Next, if you could do me a favor and share this episode with a friend who's also interested in growing their selling skills, please do. On whatever app that you're using, subscribe to Sales Babble and share this episode to your friend. Word of mouth is the premier way of growing listeners. Lastly, if you have any questions about sales, don't hesitate to reach out. Find me on LinkedIn or click the Babble Me button on the website. With that said, that's all I've got for this week. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.